Hi, hello and welcome to Designer by Design. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a creative poster or you could make it as a title cover for your presentation. When you have a theme for your presentation, choose a relevant picture and make it as the cover page. I'm going to start this with a beautiful picture of New York. First, from the drawing tool, select the parallelogram shape and draw one from top to the bottom covering half of the image. I want the shape to be inverted. So for this, select the shape, go up to the format tab, choose rotation menu and select flip horizontal. Stretch the shape to cover the edges of the images. Don't worry about the top left going outside the slide. We'll take care of it. Paint the shape with white color. Now let's take care of the shape extending outside the slide. To remove that, draw a rectangle over the shape till the border of the slide. Now, select the white colored shape first, then our blue rectangle. Go up to the Format tab, choose Merge Shapes and select Subtract. This tells PowerPoint to remove the second shape overlapping on the first shape. You may use the slide as is, but I don't want to miss seeing the whole image. So I'm going to make it transparent. For this, select the shape. Go up to the Shape Fill menu, select Gradient and then More Gradient. Here, set the transparency level. That tells PowerPoint to make this shape transparent and show the image behind it. To make this better, I am going to replicate the shape, align it and repeat the process to remove the excess shape outside the slide. When you add transparent layer over and over again, you see the transparency level of the image decreases. But this will help in adding text to the slide. Adding shadows to the shape tells our brain to see them as different layers. To add the shadow, select the shape, go up to the Format tab, select Shadow menu and choose which side you want the shadow to fall. If you go to More Shadow Options, you can increase the size of the shadow. Another trick with the transparent layer is that you can make it as a color filter to change the texture of the image. For this, draw a rectangle and make it transparent. And choose a color of your choice. You can see the difference that the color filter makes on the image. Once you have the chosen color, now you can add the text to complete the design work. As usual, to learn more tips and tricks, subscribe to Designer by Design.